Now we will do the top section of the, the extruder. So what we'll start with is we'll take the, the base component which looks like that and you'll have two short pieces of PTFE tubing. They'll be between 10 and 12 millimeters long and if you put this piece like that you'll see that they will fit into the two holes where the filament will run through. So the purpose of this is to help when you print with flexible filament that the flexible filament don't buckle when it's being pushed by the by the extruder and you can use your pliers to to push them down that they only stick out a little bit I like to when I've pushed them in to open them up a little bit with the, the tip of the pliers that makes it a little bit easier to for the filament to, to find the hole and so when we finished it will look like like that. Okay, now we will take these two printed components and you'll see that on the back side it's marked with the R for right and the L for left and on both of them we will take the two Six, uh, six to four bearings and it will slot into the the gap provided and we'll use the M4 by 12 screws, it's the black screws to fix these two bearings the screw doesn't need to clamp the the bearing tight, the bearing still needs to be able to turn So we'll use two of the M4 by 12 screws for that. And now we will take two, we will have for this section, we'll use four M4 nuts, the standard nuts. So the first two can be inserted on the outer edges you'll see that there's also a hexagon shape so we'll use these these nuts later we can just put them into the the holes provided so that they are in position okay then we will take the M4 by 12 screw the M4 nut, we'll screw it on like that and then we will push it into the the hole provided which is that one we will push it right down till the nut stops and then we'll screw the nut in till the I uh, will screw the screw down and you'll see that the screw should be flush at the bottom so if it's not flush it means that the, the nut can go a bit deeper and we'll do the same with the other one And that's all we do up to this point. The next step is to continue with the top section of the extruder. So what we need for this is two M4 by 25 screws, six M3 by 16 screws, eight M3 washers, two springs, it's the bigger springs, the shiny ones, 
then the three components we had in the previous assembly, two of the um, filament drive gears. Some of you might have the the brass ones as well. They are they work exactly the same as as these. These are just the stainless steel ones, but the um, diameter of the thread that pushes on the filament is the same and then your two stepper motors for your extruder now the idea is that you you'll receive one in your kit and the idea is that you use the other one from your current um, extruder if you don't have one you're welcome to to order it separately okay so the first thing that we'll do is we'll take the two M4x25 screws and we'll insert them into these holes of this component we will use them at a later stage now we will mount the stepper motors to it. The stepper motors will be pre-soldered and I like to put the, the cables to the top in this assembly and then the one will fit there and we'll fix it with two of the M3 by 16 screws and the other one fits on the other side and you fix it with two of these screws just need to make sure that it finds the, the hole and then it will tighten up Okay, now we can insert the springs. The springs goes on top of the M4 screws that we've assembled previously. So you'll see that we have updated the design a little bit. The tension of these springs will be changed with, um, by unscrewing the M4 screw from the bottom. So how you access it is from the top and it will be accessed through the hole, through the center of the spring to the M screw, uh, the M4 screw. And if you screw it upwards, then it will compress the spring from the bottom and you have more preload on your on your extruder. Okay, so now we take these two components. We take the last two of the M3 by 16 screws we'll put on one on one washer put it through the the printed component and then we will add three washers to the bottom Oops. Two, three, and then the one with the R will go on the right hand side. This might be a bit tricky. We need to, oops, we need to get it into the the spring, and then we tighten the M3 screw into the top left hole of the stepper motor. and then we do the same for that side okay so now the assembly should look like this everything should be tightened and when we push the the levers the spring, the spring should push it back 
and there shouldn't be a lot of play on the on the levers they should be nice and secure and now we will add the the filament drive gears and then we'll tighten the grub screw so to know exactly how far you should push it in you can have a look through the hole where the filament will will run through and see where you that the cutout in the drive gear is positioned right across from the hole and then we just tighten the the grub screw and then as I've mentioned earlier that now the the tension the preload of the extruder will be changed through the through that hole and if you unscrew the M4 screw at the bottom the preload will increase and if you screw it in the preload will will decrease.